battered bastards of baseball. You just today. like it because it has bastard in the title. No, oh. I like it because Kurt Russell might be in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kurt Russell was like, when I was a kid, he was like a hero of mine because he was uh, yeah. Toby Tyler. When I was a little kid and I, and I saw Toby Tyler. He was, was, he was Dexter Riley for me. The computer wore tennis shoes. Yeah. Or else was Jack Burton and uh, Big Trouble Little China. Exactly. Snake Plissken. Yes, Snake Plissken. Snake Plissken, I thought you were dead. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying that. Directors uh, Ch uh, Chapman Way and uh, McLean Way are with us. They directed a, uh, a documentary about Kurt Russell's father. The battered bastards of baseball and Kurt Russell's father Bing Russell, I assume that's a nickname. It is. Yeah, was a was a baseball player. Well, he was also on uh, Bonanza, right? He was. He was yeah. a, a character actor for many years. I think he has over like 600 television mm -hmm. and film credits, and uh, acted with a lot of great, you know, iconic actors like Steve McQueen and John Wayne. And he was kind of always a character actor, supporting actor. Uh, he got a couple lines, I think. It's in the documentary, but I think he, he was killed 120 times. This is his claim to fame. That's great. He was the guy that, that would get shot in the westerns. Uh, he was the guy that would start like the bar fights and jump off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. But uh, baseball was always his, his first passion. He, he grew up as the bat boy for the New York Yankees with Joe DiMaggio and Lefty Gomez and a lot of that iconic Yankees team. And uh, when his action, when the ends that ended in 1973, uh, he decided to go to Portland and, and start this minor league baseball team with his son, Kurt. Uh, now, how did you guys find out about this? Um, being as our grandfather, so it's a, it's a family story. Um, we grew up like two houses down from being um, when we were children, um, so we were very close with them. And we knew that he had kind of this really interesting story. Um, but it wasn't until I came across a team photo of the Portland Mavericks that we thought, wow, this is a really fascinating team photo. A lot of the players had their shirts off, some of them were drinking beer, they had a ball dog. And we just thought, this is like a baseball team photo that we'd never seen before. And I, uh, I went to my wife, Julie, and my brother, Matt, to help make the film, and we said, let's, let's research this and see what this yeah. is all about. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we kind of always knew that Dean had a storied life. Um, he has a lot of, he has a great photograph collection of him as a child with uh, some Yankee players. Uh, uh, photos of him in, uh, his bonanza outfit, his costume. So we kind of always knew that he had this, and it wasn't until Chap kind of came across this photo of the Portland Mavericks that we really decided to kind of just learn more about what he's seen. Now, his his thing is not still around. Is his thing is not. No, he passed away in 2003. Uh, what, uh, so, but you knew him. What what kind of a guy was he? <laughs> he was definitely probably different than most grandfathers. Uh, I think my favorite story is we played Little League Baseball growing up and he got thrown out of two of my Little League Baseball games. <laughs> nice. Very larger than life character, uh, very honest, very direct, uh, had a lot of flair. Uh, yeah, he, he, was, uh, he, he, he was very involved in that. I, I played baseball a lot. He was very involved in my baseball uh, career growing up. Um, but just with uh, absolutely just uh, the, the, the best friend that you could ever have. Uh, just always uh, supporting you. Just believed in you to the point that you love yourself. Just calling Grandpa? Yeah. Pa. 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 Yeah. Hey, pa. Now, like, like Chapman said, I mean, you're incredibly close to him. He lived literally four houses down from where we grew up our entire childhood. So he was a huge figure in our lives growing up. Uh, who did you, uh, uh, of course, you talked to Kurt Russell a lot. So Kurt Russell is your uncle. Uh, 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 so you talked to Kurt a lot about him. Uh, but who, did you manage to find people from the old days that yeah. knew me? That he played baseball? Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, 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 as we started doing research on the story, a lot of kind of cool, interesting things happened where these characters that we knew outside of the Mavericks started entering the story in many ways. Um, growing up, we always got big league shoes sent to us, and we didn't really know why, but when we started doing stories, like, oh, well, that's because the creator of big league Rob Nelson, was the Maverick pitching coach. Uh, we love the book called Ball Four that was written by Jim Bell. Right mm -hmm. Jim Bell. Jim Bell made his comeback with the Portland Mavericks before he played for the Atlanta. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know. And then uh, around this time, we were just getting into filmmaking, and one of our favorite filmmakers was Todd Field, who was the Academy Award nominated director in the Children. I mean, in the Adventure of the Little Children. 
and um, and he turned out to be the, the bad boy for the team. So kind of all these characters started coming into being story, um, and that's when we kind of realized that we really had just a really great story. Yeah. Have you guys done uh, other films together? We have. This is our first kind of feature length film. We've done a few guys around a couple short documentaries. One of them is serious. Uh, what kind of our first big undertaking guest in that first first film. Okay. And you submitted it, and. Uh, yeah, we submitted it, and, we, I, and I think that um, we didn't, you know, every filmmaker's dream is to get into the Sundance Film Festival, or every independent filmmaker's dream, at least that is, um, and I think that uh, when we found him, it was just probably the best moment of my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know what, what sports stories, you know, you know, who it's going to resonate with, so I think we obviously tried to make something that transcended just the sports genre and spoke to a larger audience. And, um, I think it really connected with the Sundance program. Seems to work, huh? Yeah. And uh, and how? And now you look at these guys. Do you see a little, yeah. uh, you, a little Kurt Russell there? <laughs> little, there's a family, yeah. the yeah. dimples yeah. and the and the yeah. and, and all the Russell eyes. Yeah. So yeah. 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 And uh, and Kurt is uh, featured prominently in the in the documentary. Kurt is in the documentary. Yeah. Kurt was a minor league baseball player before he started the team for Portland Mavericks. A very good baseball player in the oh. Eagles organization. Uh, threw out his arm and it started to see that. So he was uh, the vice president of the team uh, with the game, and he also was the designated hitter. Uh, so Kurt was up there a lot with the team. Is there footage of him doing that? There's footage. Mm -hmm. We have footage, photographs. Yeah, we were able to unearth a lot of great archival material. I seem to remember some interview with him, um, Kurt Russell, a number of years ago, either reading it or I probably read it where he talked about how that he really did want to be a professional baseball player. Yeah, well, I mean, could have done that before. Absolutely. By all accounts, he probably would have been a major league baseball player. I mean, he was absolutely sitting over 500 and not only baseball by the time that he uh, tore his rotator cuff. And back then, a torn rotator cuff basically meant that your career was over. Um, but it, it, it really happened at a very interesting time right before the Portland Mavericks. And kind of parallel Dean's story, too. Because Dean was a character actor. He was the uh, deputy, uh, he was deputy Clem on Bonanza for 13 years. And that series had just ceased production. And so Bean was kind of in a transition time in his life. So it was Kurt. And so this is kind of a father and son story about how they kind of came together and decided to go up to Portland and actually create the only minor, the only independent minor league baseball team in our country. And I'll bet people will remember that team up there. Very fond. They were remembered very fondly. It was only five years, um, and before the Mavericks was the Beavers, who had been there for 70 years, since 1906. Is that the soccer stadium there? The soccer stadium. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But the Beavers had been there for 70 years, left Portland, and Portland's kind of considered a wasteland for professional baseball. And Bean was crazy enough to say, hey, I'll take it, and I'll start my own team. They ended up breaking attendance records. Uh, all-time single and minor league tennis records, and the community just really got behind these guys and, and the team, and it was just a great love story between the community of Portland and, and this baseball team. Mm. Uh, I just, uh, and this is not a rhetorical question, everything I've read and ever heard about Kurt Russell, is there nothing he can't do? <laughs> I I get the feeling that this guy could do anything. He's How do you see him dance? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one, there's one. There's one thing. He, he, he's a very talented man, you know, and he's actually, uh, he's, he's his latest endeavor is he makes his own line, which is great. Again, <laughs> that's, his, that, that's what he's going after now. So he's, he's Many reasons to hate Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> is he doing any uh, acting these days? I haven't seen him in the beginning. He is. He was, uh, he was in the middle of the production on the Fast and Furious movie. Um, Fast and Furious 7, I know that's been relayed yeah. um, with, with the unfortunate Paul Walker incident. But, um, See, Gina? Don't get into that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was so good in Death Proof. Yeah. 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 So, so I know he's got, I think they're going to be filming Fast and Furious. So I know he's got that coming up. Too. Yeah, and actually, um, our cousin Wyatt, uh, who's her son, he was in Cold in July here at the film festival. And his acting career is starting to do really well, too. So uh, we, we had those guys in here. We, had, we interviewed the director. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wyatt. And they didn't happen to mention the famous ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that that was, that was in it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Right. Uh, it's called the Battered Bastards of Baseball. Uh, it's been three. Oh, it has tonight. Tonight, tonight. yeah. Uh, you'll be able to see it down in Salt Lake at the Tower on the twenty third. Uh, there are uh, screenings up here in Park City uh, tonight. Uh, tomorrow at the Library, uh, and then at the Redstone Cinema on the twenty second. At the Tower on the twenty third, and then on the twenty fifth at the Holiday Village Cinema. Uh, any uh, idea this might be picked up anywhere? 
Uh, no, we haven't. haven't. Uh, no one's seen it, so it's going to be the first time I think press and the industry get to see the film. So, so. that's got to be stressful. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun, you know. It's, it's, it's an experience in the very end, so we're excited for everyone to see it for the first time. Absolutely, it's been three years since we started on this project, and this is kind of the dream that we had when we first started out. Was yeah. um, let's try and get into the best film festival, and it's going to be. Well, good luck, and I and I hope it's picked up, and be looking for it. The batter, Bastards of Baseball, uh, Chapman, who's playing way. Thanks a lot for talking with us. Thanks for having me.